Hello guys, Timothy Bishop here, and I have a proposition for you. Have less than 50% of your urinations been into an actual toilet? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I heard that somewhere, and I don't remember where. Probably one of those best movie insults of all time. He's like, less than 50% of your urinations have been into an actual toilet. You know, it's like, wow, that's pretty bad. So where is the person urinating that he's talking about? Eh, uh, well, I don't think I want to know. At any rate, now that we've done that, we can turn into On Guard here, if we could get into the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's find out. Ooh, I just got cut short by a hiccup. Bang, bang, yeah, I don't know how to do it. So we'll hit the treasure chest here. These mostly are going to have bananas and coins and stuff in them, but it's well worth it to get them all if you can. There's two... I think there's five in all? There might be six. I guess we'll find out here. Let's get this one here by the chunky bananas. More bananas for me. That hole there that I just went by, that goes down to a boss door. It's pretty much all that's down there. Uh, let's see. There's the tag barrel again. It's passed by. Oh, uh, let's see here. No, I think they're higher up than this. They're like... They're all up here. There's like a bunch of them in a group. Now that I think about it, I think the one with the... Because one of them has a golden banana, and I'm pretty sure it's like really down low. I'm pretty sure it's like really down low. You're such a wonderful... Uh... You know, let's just make sure it's not down here, because I don't think it is. Oh, don't, don't switch me back. Why did you... Oh, I didn't have a chance to turn around, man. So we have to make a second trip. Well... Well, you make it sound like that's such a bad thing, jeez. Tim. It's not bad at all, man. It's fun playing as on guard, it really is. Once you get in, like, a nice open space like this where you can really cut loose with his ass. You know, start, like, tearing shit up and all. So what we really want to do is get down here towards the low end. Right down here where these... Like, uh... What do you even call these things? Conches? these cornucopias. And I would like to thank you for the smorgasbord of a food placed before us today. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Now, switch back. So we can get this before we forget. <laughs> because we will forget. Believe it or not. I know it seems completely impossible, but... Now I want to go ahead and try and grab some of these bananas before we go. Um, how many did we open there? Well, it was like four. So there was one. There might have only been three. Man, I'm just going crazy. Could be that. But either way, there's two. Wasn't the other one? Oh, the other one's right here. Okay. Well, thank goodness they were mostly on the same altitude. But wasn't there one over here by, like, the chunky coins? Yeah. Chunky, uh... Bananas, I mean. There's lanky bananas by chunky bananas. And that's made no sense whatsoever. I never went back and got that lanky balloon either. That one behind the crushers and the. Oh, in, uh, in the frantic factory. I need to do that. Because I only have 70 of his bananas here. Can we get in this barrel? This barrel is like impossible not to go into by accident when you're trying to get out of the... There. There we go. Okay. What was I saying? Something, I don't know. Well, let's get some coins while we're here. We're picking up a mass effect. A mass effect? I don't think that's what I was... I don't think that's the word I was looking for. For like a mass uh, overproduction of coins here. And thank goodness they have good hit detection, because I didn't want to have to do that. I didn't want to have to swim fast to pick them up, but... Whatever. Okay, now, let's... Ooh, I hope these fish don't pick on me. Oh, shoot, there's no, 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 there's no reason for us to go down here yet, I'm sorry. My bad! I should have known, I should have remembered. The last time I got all curious, and I did that part first. The part with the room with the giant coins in it. Like the stacks of coins. Well, I was supposed to do that thing in there with Tiny before I came here. 
But, as always, wasn't thinking. Doesn't matter, had sex. So, we're gonna go, uh, should I just meet you there, or what? I mean, I guess it's not that far. Ow. Man, these jumps seem so humongous. To me. No fair, man. What do you expect me to do? I'm just Tiny Kong. Oh, I was trying to do that. Wow. I didn't think a jump would take that long to make. I mean, I know it's slow motion and everything, but... Holy crow. Mm, this guy... I, I haven't seen any way to kill this guy yet. I tried oranges on him, he doesn't... He don't fall for that shit. Anyway. This little uh, passage that we opened here a long time ago as Diddy. Or as Lanky. One of those two. I don't know. <laughs> one of those crazy chimps. Well, actually, we did bring Tiny in here, but we couldn't do this stuff because the water level was up. Well, now it's down, so we can actually do this. And this is gonna be cool. There we go. Let's go ahead and... Whoa, whoa. Easy does it. Never knew a treasure chest could be so slippery. First things first, get the balloon. Get the balloon burst! And you're just calling for no... Thank you. No originality whatsoever in my commentary today, folks. But... That's okay, because this is Sale of the Century. Hmm. Yeah, this seemed a little too obvious to not be true. At first I thought, wait a minute, I can't get in there. But, yeah, you can. Okay, go ahead and bite down, because if they can actually hurt you by biting down, but, uh... It's tricky. Okay. We got a pearl. Man, it's so pink in here. Get me out of here. What am I, a dentist? I can't do surgery on them. Your teeth are too perfect anyway. Gosh, just look at them. They're perfectly white. They're pearly whites, no pun intended. Now, if we hurry, we might be able to... No. Oh, we did. We did get out. <laughs> You'll take a hit for it, but you can get out. Ah, uh, we're not gonna get in there in time. How much health do I have? Oh, I'm full. What? Wait, wait, so there's no damage when that happens? Well, in that case, I might have to start doing it more. Get in there, get the pearl. Get the pearl, I said. And a pearl, and a pearl. <laughs> you were looking foxy fine tonight. Oh, Cletus, is that your... Mm-hmm, you damn right. Oh, Hercules, Hercules! Mm, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Well done, well done. That's four. We need one more. I don't know what that is on the bottom of her feet. It looks like a dot. Maybe it's like a design on her flip-flops or something. I don't know. If she's even wearing them, I don't know. But, uh... Whoops. Hmm, now that I've collected all these pearls, maybe I should take them back to the mermaid, even though I've never seen the mermaid before. That's actually what I was trying to do with that tiny hole underwater, but... But I couldn't do it, because I didn't have these. So it's a good thing I grabbed them when I did. I guess they assume that you're gonna find the mermaid first, but... I didn't. Man, that's a big coin! Is it made of chocolate? Geez, since when did the hit detection so bad on those? I know it's not necessary to get all these, but... Well, what the hey? Might as well if they're here. It's funny they say this game sets the world record for having the most collectibles, but I don't know, if you play Super Mario Bros. 3 enough times, maybe all the mushrooms in that would add up to how many... This is a phenomenon that I refuse to believe. Okay. I was gonna say, the uncollectible coin? No. I wasn't being serious about Mario 3, I was just like, oh, oh maybe if you get enough, you know, P-Wings or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm suggesting maybe over the course of playing that a hundred times, you may add up to the collectibles that you get in here. Because I'm sure that eventually you would collect that many of something. I wonder how many mushrooms have been collected by video game players in the Super Mario Bros. games all across the planet. Like, officially, how many? Maybe three or four billion? I couldn't even begin to ponder, I guess. Hmm. Well, at least now we have the warp to take us there. 
I'm not sure where the other one warp is, because there's a one warp by the lighthouse, too. But I usually just end up taking the five. Just take the, f take the five at five. And it's five o'clock somewhere. Hmm. As if everybody worked eight to five, you know? That's one of the things I hated most about working, like, the overnight shift is all the times that people would just, like, make these stereotypical statements like, oh, you know, it's, uh, you know, like everybody works nine to five or something, or like everybody got weekends off. It's like, Friday is the best day of the week. It's like, bullshit. Friday was the worst day of the week for me for ten years because I had to work every single weekend because nobody else wanted to work those hard days. Which is what I call them. I mean, <laughs> I probably could have come up with a better term, like shit days, or, you know, it's a cocktail, or something. My gosh, she looks like Wumba. Oh, my lovely pearls. I hope this golden banana will do as a reward. I'll take your boobs, too, actually. Has anyone ever told you that you're sexy? I like your boobs. Wow. Okay, uh, let's see. Give it here. My pearls are safe now, but I'm sure they'll get stolen again, those thieving reptiles. Well, we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. We're gonna take out those reptiles. That's right. So now you have true motivation as a player. Anyway, um... Let's see. Was there anything... Oh, there was coins here. I don't suppose by any chance there's, like, bananas in here, too. She's got a trident next to her throne, and I think that's awesome. It makes me think that maybe King Triton passed away. Oh, those aren't tridents, those are forks. So it definitely is the Little Mermaid in that case. She's collecting stuff and wondering how many wonders one cavern can hold. Looking around here, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thing in a bobs? I've got twenty. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Anyway, uh I don't know why I know that song so well. I guess I've seen that movie more times than I would care to admit. I mean, we were pretty big fans of it as kids. I remember my sister getting it for her fourteenth birthday. And uh I still remember the pictures we took too. I uh, I'm sorry about this wanky backtracking, but I want to get that on guard wall knocked out. I don't even remember what's in there, because there's no bananas in there. But there must be something. So let's find out. Wait, was there another... Oh, there was a tag barrel right there, dude. You're such a moron. Duster. Okay, seriously, stop swimming and turn. Thank you. That's what you need to learn to do. We used to do in Banjo-Kazooie all the time, Tim. Why are you so bad at this? It's just like old times. It's really not that different. So, let's see. I don't know why I didn't do this when I had the chance, but... Hmm. Now I'm just jammed up against the left wall. How about that? That's fine. Yeah, turn me back. And I knew there was nothing in here. To, uh... Well, there's some DK bananas, I guess. Jeez. Oh, and some lanky coins. Well, at least I chose one of the right chimps to come in here. Well, of course, you don't really have a choice which chimp to come in here as if Lanky's the only one who can be on guard. <laughs> so how long do I wait to get those DK bananas, huh? Might as well do it now. Man. I must say, though, I'm really liking this level. It's not as bad as I really thought it would be. I was kind of expecting... I don't know, it was like I was saying, I was expecting more like Jolly Rogers Lagoon, but... Then again, because I don't think anything... You know, even some of the later worlds in Banjo-Tooie aren't as bad as Jolly Rogers Lagoon is. Mainly just because... You know, being underwater is uncomfortable as it is, especially if you have like a... Well, it's not as bad because Mumbo gives you oxygen and all, but still. But being underwater and then not being able to find your way around, that's just like a terrible combination. So you, the, you know, especially when you have those octopi trying to kill you every which way. 
I'm doing the flow, or the rope, or the snake, or whatever. I'm about to get by, by banana metal here. So, I guess there was a good reason for me to do that after all. Now, who were we doing? We were doing Tiny, so let's get back to her. We weren't doing Tiny, that's gross. <laughs> I just watch Married with Children. I just turn the volume down and think about fucking Christina Applegate. No, anyway. My gosh. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again. And that must mean we're up here at Gobbler's Knob. Let's, let me see what I can do. Okay, I'm back. We should be able to get these three in this video, hopefully. As long as the minigames don't screw me. But, um, what is this? Oh, well, as long as we're here, I guess we should get these. This one's easy to miss, because it's just kind of out of the way. I don't really think to look here. As far as that goes, I should go ahead and take Diddy over here and get his blueprint. I'm gonna do that, hang on. Well, that was no problem at all. Okay, back to Lanky. Back to Tiny. Ah, uh, as long as I'm here, I might as well go ahead and show you what's up here. This is where you go if you go straight at the four-way intersection. There's the other one warp. Jeez. Um, the only reason I'm going here for the time being is to get Tiny's blueprint, just so I don't have to worry about it later. And since I'm kind of in a blueprint state of mind, I got Diddy's, I might as well get Tiny's on here. There's the other three warp. Where's the other three warp? I don't remember. So... Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow, okay. Well, that was a little strange. I didn't I forgot it was fifteen. I thought it was twelve for some reason. Yeah, we gotta be careful on these little planks here. You don't want to walk the plank, that's for dang sure. And if we head over this way, there's chunky stuff over here, so... Not much to worry about there. There's a little bit of stuff for every Kong to do here. So, wait, what, what... what pad is that? Two? Why does everything go here when there's nothing here? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, don't ask me. I didn't write the game. I didn't make this place. I just work here. In fact, I don't even work here. I'm just the... I'm just that drummer who wandered on stage randomly, like... Like Beavis and like like Beavis and Butthead talked about in the I Alone video. Ooh, they don't give me much time for this one. But they don't need to because it's not that far away. <laughs> so why would they give you 90 seconds to get from your kitchen to your bathroom? I mean, it might feel like 90 seconds if you're rushing there because you got a diarrhea, because you're on the verge of, you know, diarrheaing into your pants. And wow, don't forget that you came down through that hole, because that's gonna be your way out. Any other bananas that we have here, we'll get on the way out. I just want to do this. Let's see what we got here. There's like a long passageway here with like nothing in it. It's so bizarre. You also got to watch out for the stingrays or whatever those are. Sting starfish. Why can't I swim? I can't even tell which way I'm facing. I can't see. Thank you. Oh god, this one this one's tough. Wait, is this that one where you have to hit 22 of them? Yeah. I didn't know what to do about this. So what I did was just shot randomly, kind of. Just the main thing to concentrate on is reloading. More than anything else. Because if you don't do that, then uh, you miss it, your chance to shoot more barrels. And, you want to be trying to hit as many barrels as you can. Oh, well, it's... Okay, I kind of mopped the floor with it that time, but I got pretty lucky. The thing is that it takes the melons so long to reach the target that a lot of times you're just better off shooting at the empty barrels and hoping that a Kremlin pops up in that barrel between the time that you shoot and the time that the melon actually gets there, and then you get a free hit. Because because other times you'll see a Kremlin in the barrel and you'll be able to shoot him, but then he'll disappear by the time the melon gets there. So you're just as better off 
I mean, you might as well just shoot everything you can, shoot as much as you can, and just hope for the best. And that's why I say concentrate more on the reloading than anything, because it's really the key to that particular version of the minigame is just getting off as many shots as you can and hoping for the best. If it gets any worse than that, I can't imagine how bad it would be, but considering how quickly I was able to get that one done, somehow, and that was mostly luck, I'm not giving myself credit or anything, I'm just saying that if it, if it can be done that fast, then maybe it could be done faster, or maybe more could be done in the allotted time limit. Let's get up here. So we got our banana in that one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit off the right side here and see what we can do. Oh, we're on the opposite side as we need to be. So which other one have we got? That was the switch at the beginning. We have the cactus and... Okay, these two are like right up together then. Well, we'll just do this one first then. So you want to go down low. And keep it on the down low. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Whispering. Nobody has to know. That freaking video is so sad. I just, man. I remember telling my sister, like, if you see that video, don't watch it. Of course she did, because of me telling her that. I don't know why I didn't figure out that, you know, she was going to watch it. I just didn't want her to see it. I didn't want her to see those terrible things in the world. It's just like, I mean, you know, I, his dick was hard. He couldn't resist the temptation. Give the guy a break, man. You know what I mean? Just look at her boobs as he lifts her up onto that table. You know, he like lifts her up by the boobs in that video. Pretty much. He's like got one thumb under each boob. And he's like literally lifting her entire body just with his thumbs onto that table or whatever. And she's wearing that white dress and it's just so hot. Just freaking A. Anyway. This room looks more interesting than it is. And, like, something happens in here that does damage to you, and I'm not sure what it is. Some kind of explosion? That's why I was trying to, like, spend as little time as possible in here. Big Bug Bash! Let's do it! This is Peppy. All systems go. I'm swatting the flies now. And yet again, with a game like this, since there's so much of a delay on the swatting, you're almost better off just getting as many swats off as you can and just hoping the one connects, and that was good. Oh, that was really good. Oh, that was so good. They do kind of fly in a pattern sometimes, like circles. So if you kind of, like, try to lead them in the circle that they're in... Bam! That was, uh... <laughs> Man, why am I getting so lucky on these minigames? Donkey Kong Banana. There's more ammo here if you need it. Can't imagine why you would. This isn't World War II. Like, where's all the World War I games, man? No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Somebody just said that on Cracked, and I thought, well, if it's a reason to bash first-person shooters, then why not? No. I don't have any vendetta against first-person shooters. I just think there's too many of them. I don't know. I read a really good article on Cracked the other day. It's like something about, it was called Why We Need Monsters in the World. And it's interesting because he makes his point so clear just by using this one scene in Pulp Fiction, and it's freaking brilliant. Because I, mean, I never even thought about it, but it was... It's one of those things that's always been obvious, but you don't really think about it. It's in the scene where John Travolta says he's talking about the guy who keyed his car. And in this one part, he says this one line that gives away human nature in general. He says, it would have been worth him keying the car if I could have been there to catch him. So it's like, it's a way of saying that people want bad things to happen to them just so there can be someone to blame or something. I don't know, it was, it was just really good. Yeah. Tiny, you want to serenade us with a little uh, Kenny G there? Tiny G? Tiny G string? Great. Where's that? Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out. Let's go. But ooh, yeah, there's Chunky's got a balloon over there too. Chunky's got a balloon. He's gonna shoot it and get ten green bananas. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys! Karaoke is tonight. That karaoke that I was talking about. That dad's starting the business back up. 
Well, the first show is tonight, so I get to go tonight. Unfortunately, I'll have to miss it next week, because I'm going to be in Atlanta. Oh, speaking of which, by the time this video goes up, I might be there already. I'm going to Chugga's place in Atlanta, so we can record more uh, Runaway Guy stuff, because we didn't... You know, we've been in, you know, it's been a struggle always to get enough videos done, especially in the heat of a convention. You know, so... So we decided we're going to... Just kind of like we did at Proton John's place, we're going to get together at one of our houses. This time it's Chugga's. I don't really have a house that I could... I don't know. I don't think you'd want to record in here. But, I mean, I can't even... I don't know. I guess there's nothing wrong with it. It's just too small, that's all. But, uh... Yeah, so so we're going to Chugga's house, and... Shit. Well, I, I don't guess he minds that I say... I mean, it's not exactly Atlanta, anyway. It's, like, close to Atlanta. Anyway, so I'm going to be there for a week, starting Wednesday, October 17th, through the 24th. And, uh, yeah, it's, I'll be back on the 24th, so... There's not much else to say about it besides that. I can't say what we're recording. Where was that banana fairy? But, yeah, so uh, it's going to be pretty fun. I would imagine that by the time this video goes up, though the first episode of that project. Yeah, I think it's the next cell down. It is, okay. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Bam, gotcha. Yeah, that's right, I gotcha. Whee. Yay, ammo refill, thank goodness. Holy crap, I was getting a little low there. Anyway, let's go over here and get this banana, if we can. Wait, there doesn't seem to be a way in, but wait. Maybe there does. Oh, wow, they just give you this one? Holy crap. They don't make you work for it or anything? Well, if I could grab it, that would be great. Okay, how big is this? The other ones are so... What? No, I'm serious. Okay, thank you. Ugh. Watch out when you're exiting that door, because sometimes that starfish will get in there and block the door. He did that to me last time. I was like, get out of the door! He just stood there, like Harry and Marv. I had to take a gun out and shoot him in the balls, and then he was like... Ugh. He makes that sound! Oh my god, I, mean, I gotta put that sound. I don't care if I am putting movie clips in my videos. I've got to put that guy's sound. Like, the sound he makes after he gets shot in the balls. It is the most hilarious freaking sound that any human being could possibly make. I saw a balloon up there. I don't know whose it is. You know, it's Lanky's, huh? Ah, you know what? Screw all that. We're gonna take care of that next time on Donkey Kong 64. Thanks, everybody, for watching. But, yeah, if, if there is a delay on videos for a while, then I should be back to making them by the 25th. Hopefully. God willing, all the safe travel works out and everything, and we get our stuff recorded, should be good. So, till then, thanks for watching. See you later.